I'm thinking that it's time to kind of protect the gel coat from the damaging UV rays that we have down here in South Florida. And I can't really decide which direction to go here. I don't know if I want to go with some type of a wax over the gel coat. I've heard that some of these waxes are actually hurting the finish on your boat. Or if I want to go with some type of a polish. There's some of these new polymer polishes out on the market. And again, I'm just not really sure. I do know this, whichever direction that I'm going to take, we need to make sure that we clean the boat using the right tools and the right materials. And that's kind of the subject that we're going to be getting into this time here at Shipshape TV. First thing that I'd like to talk about today is what not to use on your boat. A lot of first time boat owners, second time boat owners are running into the mistake of using way too harsh of a detergent on the boat when they're washing it. Tide is great for the laundry, but you do not want to use it on your fiberglass boat. Let me explain here a little bit. When a boat, a fiberglass boat, gets pulled from its mold, a lot of boat manufacturers will actually sand the gel coat using like a 400 grit paper, maybe take it to an 800 wet dry paper, sand it, and then kind of switch over to machines and use some type of a rubbing compound on it, maybe 1,000 grit rubbing compound and take it up to 2,000 grit. And this gives you a mirror finish. And boat owners love that. But what happens is whenever you do it that way, you're going to not only thin out the gel coat a little bit by sanding on it, but you're also going to expose pores in the gel coat to the open environment. And that could lead to premature chalkiness or oxidation, where you take your hand, you rub it up the, on the hull side, and you see that it's all white and chalky. That's oxidation. Or it could expose it to dirt, okay? It could trap in the dirt. And what a lot of manufacturers will do is they will, after they sand on the boat, they will reseal the boat with some type of a polymer polish. And these products right over here will strip that polish or that sealing agent off from the boat. And it's going to reopen up those pores, exposing it to UV, exposing it to salt spray, exposing it to dirt, to stains, okay? Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was up at Sea Ray and I wanted to see how my 280 Sundancer got put together. But I came across a different process of what these guys do. Rather than sanding on it, they're using a material called Buff Magic, put out by a company called Yacht Bright. And I've never seen anything like this before because in one step, they're using a type of a rubbing compound, and that's at least, at least what I would call it. And it kind of, as you work the material, it becomes finer in grit. It starts out at about 400 grit and then it winds up at about 2000 grit. But it takes a lot of man hours out of building the boat, which reduces the price of the boat, which is really, really cool. And again, I've never seen this before, and so I was very fascinated. Hey, I want to real quick introduce you to my very good friend, Barry Berhoff. And Barry is an expert in detailing boats. You own not only Surehold Industries, but you also have subsidiaries. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of them is Yacht Bright. Correct. And Yacht Bright makes this buff magic that we were kind of talking about here. Now, not only do they use this in brand new boats, but you can use a product like this when you're trying to restore damaged gel coat. Is that not correct? It's 100% correct. The consumer can pick up this product and use it to bring out that original showroom shine. It will take away all of that cakey chalkiness. Okay, now, not only companies like Sea Ray use these products, but a lot of boat builders use your line of products. You right. want to use wax on your boat. Uh, we're talking about detailing a, a craft here. Talk to us a little bit about wax. Okay, well there's a big difference out there in waxes and polymers and polishes and polymers are really the new way to go. They're going to give you a much longer, harder, better finish than a wax will and you're going to do it in about half the time. But I was talking about the downside to having exposed pores of gel coat. Okay, you can get staining issues you can also get oxidation. You put wax over top of that, you're sealing the air from, from hitting that surface, correct? Correct, you are sealing the air out, but you're also sealing the air in because the wax doesn't bond with the boat, so all those little pores and nooks and crannies still exist as little voids and that air is stuck inside. What's going on in those little chambers? The same thing that would happen if it wasn't on there is they're eating away at the boat. So you're getting oxidation, you're getting chalkiness, staining, you correct. could have all that kind of stuff Correct. going on. Okay, so wax lays over the surface, doesn't get into the actual pore. What does seal that pore? 
But what does seal the pour is a polymer style polish like our Pro Polish here. And what this will do is it will quickly bond with the boat and give that same water sheeting effect that you're used to from wax. And it's going to protect it the way you would expect a wax to do it. But it's going to do it longer, harder, and stronger. And it does it in a chemical bond with the boat. Okay, so even though we use a variable um, grit, adjustable grit compound, this buff magic on the boat, that, that doesn't seal it. No, what that's doing is that's actually taking off all that old caked up gel coat and bringing it back to a shine. And now we want to protect that shine with the polish. Let's talk about how often do we apply the polymer, the, this, this polymer finish over top of our boat to protect from sunlight to protect from salt. It really depends where you keep your boat. If you're up in the northern climates and you have a much shorter boating season, once to twice per season will do you just fine. Down here in Florida, we've got the heavy sun, the reflection off the water, the salt the air, and it's a full year round season. So you're looking to three to four times per season. Great information. Hey, can